yeah I don't know if anybody can see me it's a bit bright sunshine it would be a lovely cruising day today well it's a bit windy this is just a short video to explain why we won't be doing any uh, cruising or cruising videos possibly for the foreseeable I've lost my laptop bear with right sorry about that we were all fired up it's um, Friday there's something 29th of May we were all fired up to have been released on the 1st of June um, until we had the latest update from the CRT yesterday and it goes something like this things you should know before commencing a longer journey on your boat after the 1st of June goes on about washing your hands and social distancing something I think that we will we'll all do for the rest of our lives we don't need Italian that's just become the new norm unless your boat is oh bear in mind we'd already had the, the one that said that we could go out cruising uh, avoid locks but that seems to have gone now unless your boat is your primary residence ie you permanently live on it overnight stays on your boat are not currently permitted right so nothing's changed there for us except that it says about it goes on about um, the strain on the network blah 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 but the point is if I've interpreted the rules correctly what we did last year me and Tom when we went out for three weeks we we got reasons that we needed to keep coming back to the house so one of our vehicles is a, a, a nice little Nissan people carry a thingy and Tom bought a fold up electric bike so what we did last year we went out for three weeks and we would move the boat and then Tom cycled back to where we'd left the car drove to where, where we were moored and then the next day we did the same thing now following the strict r rules as I can see it unless someone wants to tell me otherwise we could do the same again if we did the four counties ring and there should be a map coming up I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it we live more or less somewhere in the middle of the four counties ring never more than half an hour's drive from any point on the four counties ring so we could legitimately following these rules do what we did before moving the car with the bike more up have a, have a few hours sitting around doing whatever we do on the boat and then at bedtime driving home uh, sleep at home get up in the morning go back to the boat and move it again now as far as I can see that would be within the rules because we were doing short cruises and we wouldn't be staying on the boat overnight it doesn't say anything about having to return back where you started from it just said you can't stay on it overnight so yeah we probably will do that just to prove a point because I'm a stubborn person like that but if you want if the aim of this exercise is to social distance from people we're not inviting strangers off the towpath into our boat once we've done our cruising which is permitted we are allowed to move the boat and go through locks social distancing it's the only thing we're not allowed to do is to stay on board overnight and i can guarantee you with ethel mrs ladyship no one would want to come on our boat for a cup of tea let alone stay the night but following it to the to the letter of the instructions we would be putting far more people at risk by cycling back to, to where we'd left the car passing walkers anglers and other canal boat users but that seems to be more preferable than us staying in our confined space so i'm hoping that somebody from the crt will watch this 
and explain to me have I got it right and why have you not challenged the government about this or have you just decided yourselves that a narrowboat is a second home. On the same point there's a bit of an issue I, I'm not quite sure I know I, I've been offered an extra month out of my license I'm, I'm not sure if that's the same for continual cruisers because let's be honest they've still used the facilities if they you know if they live on a canal they, they use them far more than we do and a, an extra month on your license for not being able to use your boat that's cost it's, we've just paid nearly four grand for license insurance and mooring fees and an extra month CRT license and doesn't really cut it but I'd be interested to see if anybody else has got any different views.